In the meeting, I made a very simple proposal. I said, we all have our smartphones with us. Well, probably Minister Lavrov has his last iPhone, but that's, that's another story. And I said, I can call my officials right away, my president, my prime minister, my commander in chief, and I give you 100% that they will provide all assurances that humanitarian corridors will work. I'm ready to do it right now, right here, in your presence. Can you do the same? Can you make the call? I'm sure you have all of them in the phone book. He did not respond to that. But I still hope that out of humanitarian considerations, he will follow up our conversation by reaching out to his colleagues in charge uh, who can make decisions in this, in this field. Again, we came to these meetings with different assumptions. I came as a foreign minister who is entrusted to seek solutions and make decisions. He, as he said, came to listen. This is the difference, the difference uh, in, in approaches. I was ready to make all necessary calls right away to arrange a humanitarian corridor from Mariupol. I proposed it. My uh, proposal was not, uh, was not followed by, uh, was not supported by Minister Lavrov, but again, I still hope that at least he will do it after leaving the room of negotiations. Okay.